Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today I'm doing another live react video. And this one is going to be a shout out to this gentleman, Womble Leader. This guy, I've been subscribed to his channel for maybe a month, two months, and I've watched his streams regularly, I've watched his videos that he's uploaded, and I've got to say, I just like this channel. I just like it. So I'm going to give this guy a shout out, and hopefully, after you guys have seen this, you'll want to go and subscribe as well, because I personally think that this kind of content is what the community needs and is what the community would want as well. It's mostly World War II. Well, as far as I know, it's all World War II. So if you're interested in World War II gameplay, then this is a channel I think you should check out. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Like it. Yeah, dramatic. Nice. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another World of Tanks console replay with me, Womble Leader. We've got a fun little game here in the M4 Sherman, the American Tier 5 Medium. One of the most famous tanks in the world. And I'll, I'll stop it right there, and I will say, Wargaming recently, well not recently, a couple of weeks ago, someone from Wargaming made the comment that the matchmaker in World War II has been improved. And I just want to point out, look at this. Everyone wants everyone wants plus one, minus one. And look what we've got. We've got tier fives, tier sixes. And I've been playing World War II a little bit more lately. And straight away, I'm noticing that plus one, minus one is there. Even though it's not there, it's... Hap you know what I mean. It's, it's not there, but it's there. It's happening a lot more. So Wargaming were right to point that out. And we're seeing it right here. Of course, the Sherman, mass-produced during World War II, wasn't the best tank in the world, but it was robust enough, it was reliable, and they were able to produce them in massive numbers, which is kind of what you need in a World War. But it served its purpose, and it has its place in history for that reason. But we've got a fun little game here Ooh, on steps, true. where, let's just say Lady Luck and RNG were on my side for once. Now, it starts off a little bit slow, but the kind of reason this uh, this uh, replay has made it into a video is... One thing you'll notice straight away about this replay is, and I've noticed this about Womble, he uses the compass. He doesn't use the minimap. And that's one of the reasons why I quite like his content, because he doesn't do what I do. And it clearly works for him. And I think that's quite interesting. And I, I, like, I like seeing people play the same game but in a different way and that's you know that's just one of my reasons for liking this content but i think it's interesting that he's using the compass and not the minimap is for the last couple of minutes so stick around and wait to see what happens towards the end of this one but initially we're just going to go and jump into this bush here been a little bit campy but steps is one of those maps it's pretty open except around the edges maybe the the valley down the middle and there is four light tanks on each team so the last thing i really want to do is get spotted too early and then start taking shots from the tank destroyers and uh, the little pestly Retic artillery at massive. the back of the map so to try to hide in this bush try to get some shots onto the light tanks of the enemy team who are kind of driving around about in the open relying on their speed to stay alive so just waiting on that opportunity to arise uh, and here we've got a little chaffy, I think, driving across the open. Can we get a shot into the chaffy? Leading the shot, that's not a bad shot. Tracking that's shot as well, but not taking that's the tracks off, sigma. unfortunately. Second shot doesn't hit. We have a... No, oh, there's another chaffy, I believe. Driving across the map as well. They're just uh, very bold at the enemy light tanks, I must say. We get that shot into the back of the chaffy, and they are soon removed. And we've got a wee ELC as that as well. Hard tank to hit on the move, especially at that distance. And the Sherman's gun is not notably the most reliable in the world but looks like our uh, opportunities on the light tanks have passed by it's time to maybe progress the game a little bit and we're going to go down the eastern flank here no we're not we're going to go down the western flank Wombo. get your uh, get your compass points right so heading down honestly don't worry about it the number of times on stream and in videos i'm thinking to myself right which way is east and end, I just end up saying left or right because <laughs> I can't get it right myself. <laughs> in the west here from, well, down the west from where we started. And yeah, 
just trying to make sure that, you know, these early stages of the battle, one of the things I always try to reiterate to anyone I'm trying to pass on to some advice about this game is that you have to, you have to make sure you keep your gun in the game, make sure you're trading effectively and, you know, having hit points in the mid part of the game, the sort of end part of the game, if it's a close battle, is so important to try to help your team win this. I see far too many players sort of basically sacrifice half their tag to get one shot off and yeah, it can be quite infuriating indeed, but... Uh, He's not wrong either. I I mean, I used to do that a lot as a new player. I would rush out just to try and get that one shot and I'd be dead. And to some extent, I'd sometimes still do that. It is uh, the temptation to just peek a corner just to get that shot, just just because you're thinking, oh, if I don't take it now, I won't get it later. It's like, no, you save your hit points. That he's, he's not wrong there. Save your hit points because, well, like he said, end game, if you get to the end game and you've traded all your hit points, you're a one shot. And if you're not a one shot, you could win the game. So that is the reason for not trading hit points just for the sake of trying to get one shot off. Uh, yeah, just try and, keep your, try and keep your gun in the game. Even if you're not the best player, if you're still alive, if you're still able to point your gun at an enemy tank, then you are still able to be useful. Now we have came across a Jackson here driving across the open, getting some nice three shots into the side of the Jackson. Jackson just stops, auto aims and puts one through the front of us of course. You know, why aim in the world of tanks? I've got to admit, I auto aim probably a little bit too much myself, but I do tend to aim in the right <laughs> situations. But yeah, auto aim can be quite effective and the Jackson does have a pretty accurate gun, so... I shouldn't complain. I I played the M4. I've three I three marked the M4 a while ago, but I used the 105 because I found the 105 to be the better gun for getting the higher damage games. And I never he's playing with the 76 on here at the moment. I never realised just how large the reticle plumes on the 76. I would have thought it would be. I would have thought the gun handling for the 76 would be a lot better than it is. This is what this kind of reticle plume is what I'd expect from the 105. Yeah. about that one too much especially with the luck I'm about to have that is coming up here but the Jackson has now been removed and this is looking like a fairly comfortable win as the enemy team go five tanks yeah, behind oh seven. we've got a little sliver of a shot on a piggy the love to get some oh, artillery right, the damage me in. the reticle plume might be big but the sigma is that is proper tight that is anybody that watches me in a live stream knows just how much I love the square class Everybody's favourite class in the game. We get a couple of nice shots into the artillery there. Accuracy of the gun actually being accurate for a change. I'm not sure what the accuracy is on the Sherman M4's top gun, but it served me well on those two shots as we sort of uh, take a couple of hundred hit points off the artillery, who has now skulked even further towards the back of the map to do some more clicking. We've got the side of the Italian Churchill here. I think it is, what is that, an A, some, A3 BP, is that its name, but as just... That's the A43 Black Prince, um, we all make mistakes, it's not Italian, <laughs> but hey. An Italian Churchill, getting some side shots into the Churchill, now we've got pretty good side armour and at this distance we're definitely not guaranteed to get the pen, but we do get the tracking shot there, we are... It's a tough Still target. persevering with the standard rounds, we don't Very often fire target. premium rounds to be honest with you. Uh, and as they go invisible with the side, well, you know what, somebody else can deal with that. Let's go and chase the enemy team into this corner. So at this part of the game, you're kind of looking at it, you're thinking, oh well, I think we've got this one in the bag. We're three tags up, four tags up now. You know, I'm kind of thinking, you know, as everybody does at this point, I want a piece of the pie, I want to get some farming done, I want to get as much damage out of this as I possibly can. So we've got a light tank, one of the chaffies we've seen earlier on, giving my T-3485 a hard time, so we're going to go in and try and assist our teammate getting some shots into the chaffy, chasing the chaffy off. And as you can see here, now we just got a little bit full YOLO, we drive up to get a shot at the chaffy, get the kill, but we've driven in front of a VK. And a tank destroyer, it should be game over, but we're going to Jink and G fear. We managed to put a shot into the tank destroyer, we managed to avoid the tank destroyer's return fire. We drive by the VK, we put a shot into there, we're now driving straight at the tank destroyer, just going side to side, to side weaving about, trying to put them off their aim. We managed to get it by the side of them, we're down to 21 hit points. 
We've got the kill shot here on the tank destroyer. Can we get to take our time in that one? Somehow we're still alive out of that situation. I have no idea why. And it's going to get even better than that as we come back up to deal with the VK. He's now been engaged by our M6 Heavy and we're just going to get the easiest shots auto-aiming into the back of the VK. Take out their engine. Another one into the back of them. We're down to seven hit points and we're going to get the kill shot as well for kill number three. Just two heavy tanks. That. What you saw just there, that is... That is why I, and likely many of us, play this game. You don't have those opportunities, situations, very often. But when they come around and you're able to just completely clutch a situation, it just feels so good. And this this kind of video here motivates me. I'm like, oh, I want to play the M4 now. I want to... I'm not going to get a game like this. I'm not going to get an opportunity like that. But it just demonstrates just those cool moments where if you play it right, you can just, you can wipe out two or three tanks and survive with 21 hit points. <laughs> ...left on the enemy team. I a KV1S that. up there. Somehow we bounced that. <laughs> Again, as I said, Lady Luck RNG on our side in this one. And he's got that one in 100 game where RNG seems to be on your side. Uh, this was one of those ones where I kind of came out of it, smelling of roses, still alive, MVP, 2000 damage, 3 kills, mm. yeah. Not every game goes like that, I can assure you, but yeah, just a fun little replay in the Sherman M4, hopefully you've enjoyed that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, goodbye now. Well guys, that was the M4 replay from Womble Leader. That... That I, I watched this. The reason I've done this is because I watched that and I thought that, like I said, that, that makes me want to go play the M4. That was such a feel-good game to watch. And I really appreciate Womble sharing that because we need to see games like that every now and then. You just When it just comes together, it's just amazing. So I'm going to put a link to Womble's channel in the description. I'll put it as the top pinned comment as well so you guys don't miss it. If you've enjoyed this video, check out his channel. Please, please go check out his channel. Subscribe, support him. He's got a lot of World War II stuff, and I think you guys will absolutely love his content. So that's all I've got for this one, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. If not a dislike, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.